Okay, so we are now reviewing learning target 1.8. I know the relative sizes and densities of the nucleus and the electron cloud. So a basic model of an atom has the nucleus, in the middle, and outside of it, in this general area, all around here, is the electron cloud. What we know is that the nucleus is very dense and relative to the entire atom it's small compared to the rest of the atom. On the other hand, the electron cloud is big. It takes up a lot of space, but it's not very dense at all. So it's not dense at all. It's a lot of open space. The nucleus has about 99.99999% of the mass, meaning almost everything that we call an atom is located this is a very hard thing to visualize, um, how small an atom is, and then in retrospect, how big the electron cloud is compared to the nucleus. Again, most of the mass is in the nucleus, but most of the size is in the electron cloud. So again, the electron cloud, big, but not dense. The nucleus, very dense, but it's small. Okay, for your individual example, I want you to take what we just talked about and apply it to this question. One day at lunch, Dr. Mendelev tells you that he learned the electron cloud was very dense because it took up so much space. And one or two sentences evaluate his response. So tell me, is he correct or incorrect and why? Don't forget to tell me why. Okay, so pause the video, try it, and then check your answer with mine. Okay, so here's my answer. Dr. Mendelev is both correct and incorrect. He is correct when he says that the electron cloud takes up a lot of space. The electron cloud takes up much more space than the nucleus. However, he is incorrect when he says that the electron cloud is dense. The electron cloud is not dense, but the nucleus is.